Welcome back, I'm Brent and this is Anchors Away RV and today we're at Agate Fossil Beds in Nebraska. So come with us, let's go have a look and find out what's going on. Now this is the Dem Demonolix Corkscrew and at the end of the video I'll tell you what it is. We are on the way. The visitor centre has a very informative 10 minute video and also has some of the fossils on display. Uh, we're about to head out on one of the two walking trails, um, which is the Fossil Hills Trail, uh, and we'll have to drive to the second trail, which is the Demonix Trail. A couple of things to bear in mind when you come out here, it's a long way from uh, any of the towns, it's about 30 miles out here. You want to make sure you bring yourself water and have extra water in your car for when you want to uh, get back from one of the walking trails. And make sure that you have enough fuel to do the 60 mile round trip. Otherwise you could be out here in the sun pushing your car with no water and that would not be a good thing. So the first trail that we're heading off to, you can see uh, the two little bumps in the distance. One of those is called the Carnegie um, Mound and the other one is the University Mound and the trail heads all the way out there. It's about a two mile round trip walk um, and it's a pretty hot day today so we're going to get a little bit cool. But we're going to head out there and check it out and see what's going on. Okay, a little bit of history. The, um, the, the, the ranch owner that uh, owned this land was um, riding a room. Huh? James Cook. James Cook, there we go. My research assistant here, getting the correct name. So James Cook was riding out near the, um, the two hills and he discovered uh, a fossil. Now he thought that this was a fossil that was um, of a horse bone. Um, so he invited one of the professors from the Nebraska University to come out here and have a look at it. Um, and uh, they discovered that in fact these were fossils dating back uh, 19 million? 19 million years. Not that fossil, but the, the, the first date fossil was 19 years. 19, 19 million years, the, the fossil beds dated back 19 million years. So 19 million years ago, this whole area was a little bit like the um, Serengeti savanna in Africa. So it was all grasslands with uh, very wide meandering rivers running through it. So what would happen is the, uh, the herbivore dinosaurs 19 million years ago would eat the vegetation around uh, the rivers um, and they would slowly work their way out until the vegetation would uh, uh, would be too far for them to, from the water, water source to go and get. So then they would just sit down in the water, in the mud, and they would die from mal malnutrition. And that created the vast um, numbers of fossils that they have here. So this area is where apparently you can see hoof prints of the um, animals that lived 19 million years ago. Damned if I can. Uh, I'll have a hunt around and see if I can see anything that looks like a, a hoof print. And the, the nearest thing I can see is these running along through here. This is the main area where most of the excavations have taken place as they slowly pushed back into the side of the hill. It's not fun. No, it's not fun at the moment. It's pretty hot. Um, albeit an easy walk, all of the, the trails are paved. Um, but hats off to these paleontologists. Um, I can't see anything. Um, these guys. Uh, really know their stuff to be able to identify all these bones and hoof prints and all those things. Um, I've got no idea, uh, but that's what you get when you're an electrician, I guess. Do you, you can identify the colours of cables, but you can't identify um, 19 million year old bones. 
So anyway, the walk's quite pleasant. Um, it took about 30 minutes to get up here. Uh, the breeze is blowing now. We're hoping to have a nice walk back down to the car. So there you go. We're going to head off to the next one after this. Um, and hopefully there's something that we can identify there. All right, we're heading off on the Diamonix. Diamonix. Daimon. Daimon. The, hmm? the way they say it, Demonolix. Demonolix? Demonolix. Okay, we're heading off on the Demonolix Trail. Let's go. Okay, the Demonolix Trail is uh, crushed gravel. Uh, so not the concrete, but it's still relatively easy to, to walk up. Uh, it's a nice even grade. It's only about uh, one mile round trip or well, 1600 meters. Okay, so as you can see, you got the, the corkscrew here. This is a fossil, the fossil remains. Now, it was originally thought that this was a taproot of a tree that uh, had rotted out and then fossilized, but later on it was discovered. They broke into uh, one of these corkscrews and they found the bones and remains, petrified bones and remains, of a burrowing mammal. So this is actually a burrow and the interesting thing is that they would burrow in from each side to the bottom and then they would dig this corkscrew up so that when the, the ground flooded during rains and things like this, the top of the burrow here was safe from any water coming in. So that's what it is. All right, so the, uh, the walk in the uh, agate fossil beds is very pleasant. You've got all these little yuccas around as well. It would be nice if the temperature was a little bit lower though, wouldn't it? It would be nice if the temperature was a little bit lower, wouldn't it? All right guys, that's our trip to Agate Fossil Beds. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.